So I'm back home early from New York Comic Con and today just wasn't my day. First off, I thought I had everything packed. I got on the bus and realized that I did not have my pass off. Yeah. And the, the good thing is, is that I only got about one stop away from um, the stop that I got on before I realized it. So I had to get back um, to walk back because, like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't that far from my house. I went back, got my pass, got on the bus, got on the train, and I missed the panel that I wanted to go to which was the monster hunter panel so that didn't happen and after that um well actually i didn't go only because by the time i got to the city it was like 12 o'clock and that's what the time of the panel so i ended up stopping in sephora to get some lipstick which i'm wearing right now and um, I went to Lush. So I went to, I finally got to, oh, my brain is just so tired right now. Like when I tell you that my dogs are barking, meaning my feet, they are hurting like crazy. I finally get to, to, to Jacob Javits Center and I just knew, I knew already that it was gonna be horrible. Like I talked about this morning. But it was way more worse than what I thought it would be. And me being an introvert, being around so many people for a really long time, it, it just drains me. It drains me like crazy. And I maybe lasted about three hours before I gave in. My original intention was to promote my site by you know giving out cards business cards that have like my twitch channel and you know my logo and everything and how you can reach me and um you know people were like that was i thought it was a good idea but people kind of were just like they had they, their blinders on they were trying to get where they wanted to go or people or just like, oh, you know, what's that? And they thought it, thought I was giving out like free stuff or something. I'm gonna be like a coupon. But yeah, um, <laughs> not too many people took my card. So I, I felt kind of like, okay, maybe this wasn't a good idea, but at least I tried. And um, so one of the things that were complained about that happened this year was that uh, security was confiscating a lot of cosplayers' props. There's a rule that's been in effect for years that a lot of people haven't obeyed. Your props are not supposed to be made of any type of hard, super hard material, meaning like wood and metal, but people do it anyway. And I guess maybe this year since there were um since they knew there were going to be so many people maybe they just went extra hard but people were whining left and right oh you know why are you taking away these cut um these props you know that's not fair this rule had been in effect for a really really long time as i'm walking randomly you know minding my own business this guy is swinging around his weapon and hits me in the face with his metal handle. And I was just like, see, this is exactly fucking why the rules are you're supposed to have foam weapons. You use foam weapons or paper or whatever else, any material that is not heavy. It could be cardboard. It could be anything. But you're not supposed to have that weapon. Thank God, you know, I, I didn't, you know, it didn't break my teeth or hurt my nose or anything. He just kind of um, hit me on my head. And, you know, I gave him this look of death because who swings around a weapon when there's thousands of people walking back and forth around? So, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I stand fully behind 
that that rule and there really shouldn't be any need for a metal weapon things like that happen and you know tempers flare too so um especially in environments where you get aggravated really quickly and those props can easily become weapons i'm totally on board for stopping those from coming um from being coming into the the comic convention um let's see what else happened that was kind of just like really sucky i was playing phone tag with a bunch of my friends we were supposed to meet up everybody woke up late everybody woke up late i got there late because i already told you but everybody just kind of like woke up late we were playing phone tag they would call me they i missed my missed the call i called them they missed the call I went and hit a text, my phone started dying, so then I had to wait for it, but then the reception really, really sucked inside of Jacob Javits, and I would get my text super, super late, so that was, like, another issue that I was having, and it just, um, today didn't just, it just didn't work out for me, I couldn't get to a lot of places that I wanted to and I wanted to buy my Sailor Moon statue today, but it was just too crowded. Like, I couldn't get around. And my back just, it was killing me. It, everything was too much. But I started feeling like I was having a panic attack because as I went to Artist Alley, I said to myself, I'm going to go to Artist Alley and I'm going to check out and see... Um, you know what people are selling you know there's always an amazing am amount of talent at new york comic con comic con and i always want to buy up all the art that i see but this year i didn't really see anything that caught my eye except for this uh, man i forget this lady's name but she was selling some really cool sailor moon art and I just didn't have any cash on me. She didn't accept cards. So that was kind of like wah wah for the both of us. And I left Artist Alley. And as I left Artist Alley, things got really crowded. And like people were like right on my back, literally grinding my butt and breathing on my neck, stepping on my shoes. And just like everything got like this. And I just started feeling like you know claustrophobic and I'm like freaking out because I'm already drained from being around so many people I had to uh beeline my way outside and just hype just breathe into like this bag that I had I just felt so panicky and I said you know what I think this is I think this may possibly be my last year for at least maybe for a while. I don't know if, I don't know, maybe I'm making this a decision because of what happened with me breaking out. But as of right now, my decision is that I probably won't be going to New York Comic Con Comic Con next year. I know San Diego Comic Con is pretty crowded too, but I at least want to say that I went. Other people are suggesting other conventions for me. So if you have a convention that you think I would enjoy without feeling like my life is flashing before my eyes, that would be really awesome. Just comment and you know, just let me know. I'd be happy to go to another convention because this is just, it's too crowded for me. It's, I hate to sound like a hipster, but it's too mainstream. And I really, um, I can't deal with that anymore. And, um, I don't know. I, I don't feel bad for leaving early. There was nothing that I hadn't already seen within the first two days. Um, my money was pretty low this time around, so there wasn't really anything that, um, that I have 
to show you guys and be like, oh man, this is awesome because pretty much everybody was selling the same thing that they sell every year. And the things that I did want, they were super, super expensive. Just like, you know, that Galactus statue I talked about earlier today, that's $800. It's, it's amazing. And I would spend that money, no problem, if I had it. But, yeah, um, I don't know, today was my day. I'm not going tomorrow. I'm not going on Sunday because there's no reason for me to go on Sunday. I didn't see anything I wanted. I'm not looking for any deals. Um, quite frankly, this whole thing kind of, like, it's it's egg on my face. I did get my my writing material, which is fine. But I, I was planning on spending time with a lot of my friends and it didn't happen. Also, when I did find, uh, when I did find a couple of friends, I ended up being a third wheel and I don't do third wheel very well because you know how like the other two people kind of just know each other and they're like, ha 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 ha, you know, like. Yeah, so I don't know. Um, maybe next year, maybe I'll try and find someone like to enjoy it with if I even go. But this time, I don't know. My plans just fell through. I am happy that I was able to play Resident Resident Evil Revelations too. I'm happy that I was able to play Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter for Ultimate. I'm happy to, to have seen The Killing Floor 2. And um, just the art. Just the art there. But other than that, oh, you know what? I did say that I was going to make a video about what kind of blew it for me with New York Comic Con. Um, it just, you know what? I just make a separate video for that. I just got home a few minutes ago. I ate and I'm I have like a slight food coma. So I'm I'm just gonna like I think I'm just gonna go to sleep and then perhaps wake up and make that video. You guys I can't believe I'm I'm actually saying that I didn't like New York Comic. I'm kind of sad about it, and I don't want to think of it as me getting old. I don't think it's that. I just, I just think it's lost its spirit. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.